Welcome back. So glad that you joined me. In the world that we live in today, it seems that people are so invested in not just conspiracies, but the development of conspiracies, that every little thing has to have a different motive, and well, they, they're really doing this or they're really doing that. You know, it's, it's crazy even to, to talk about that because of the fact that our focus needs to be in Jesus. Yeah, we can continue until we're blue in the face saying, well, maybe there's this, maybe there's that, but we're being distracted from what truly is. Our life needs to be so grounded in Jesus, so grounded in the Bible, that it doesn't matter what's going on around us. Our focus is on Him. Yes, at the same time, when we're so grounded, we're going to want to go out and make sure that we're helping people because that's our faith lived in action. But we, we don't need to be worried about what all these secret groups are, are doing or even if there are secret groups. There's always going to be some craziness everywhere we go. It's our choice what we do because of what we're focused on. Let's focus on Jesus, Him alone, so that we're able to live the lives that He calls us to live. Today's verses that we're taking a look at are found in Isaiah chapter 8, looking at verses 12 and 13. They say this, You are not to say, It is a conspiracy, in regard to all that this people call a conspiracy. And you are not to fear what they fear or be in dread of it. It is the Lord of hosts whom you should regard as holy, and he shall be your fear, and he shall be your dread. We need to be so focused on Jesus that it doesn't matter what's happening around us. It doesn't matter what the world is saying. We need to have a holy fear. You know, when we look at the scriptures, they point us back continually to the fact that that the way to live is by worshiping God, worshiping Jesus. Whether it's in society, whether it's in the church, whether it's in life in general, there's always going to be conspiracies. It's our choice to go forward in Jesus, knowing that no matter what the conspiracies are, we're going to be okay because of the fact that he's the one controlling our lives. Thank you again for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you next time as we continue to study God's Word together. God bless.